Hello friends and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about the Boolean compound object. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So here we have got into 3ds Max software and uh, as you can see, we have these two objects over which we will be drawing the compound object Boolean. So I'll create a copy of this set of objects so that we can compare the results of boolean now in the first set i'm going to select this uh, green box then we will go to the compound object and select boolean let's uh, stretch this so that we can see all the parameters of the boolean compound object now inside the boolean we have uh, these six different operations so we will be starting with the subtract operations so i have selected subtract and then we have to select this option that is add operand so just click on add operand and hit the cylinder that is our operand b so once i click you will notice that the operand b or the cylinder has been deleted or subtracted from object a along with that it has also created some new faces inside object a and you can also see that the material of object B, that is the cylinder, has been applied to the new faces. Now this happened because of the option here under the material, apply operant material. Now if we select the another option, in that case, the material of the box will be retained. So we will see that with the another set. Now in the another set, uh, let's create a copy of this for other operations now in the second set i am again selecting this uh, green box i'll go to boolean and subtract before i add the operand here under the material group i'm going to select the option that is retain original material so just click on retain original material and then we can add the operand that is the cylinder add operand and hit the cylinder now in this case the new faces which has been created here will not have the material of the cylinder or the operand B but actually it will retain the original material of object A or operand A. So that is the use of material group. Now beside this we also have some options here under the display group that also we can see here. So as you can see under the display group we have these uh, three options. So by default, the result option is selected. That is why we are able to see the final result here. And if I select the second option that is operands, in that case, we will be able to see the object involved in the operation. So that was the cylinder and it is seen in a transparent mode. Now, if I select the third option that is selected operands, in that case, the operand will get selected. So just click on this and you can see now this box is selected. Again, I'm selecting the operand and see this box is unselected. Once again, if I click on the selected operands, the box is selected. Now, beside this, we also have one option that is display as shaded. If I put this check mark, it will show both the operands in shade mode. So these are the options here. Along with that, we can also see these options, which is imprint and the cookie. Now, for the time being, I'm uh, changing the display to result. And inside this, as you can see, it has added some new faces uh, because of this operation. Now, when I select imprint, in that case, it is not going to subtract anything, but it is going to just add an outline over the operand A or object A. Now, if I remove this imprint check mark, you can see the result. Now, if I select the cookie option, in that case, it is going to subtract object B from object A, but it is not going to add any new faces. Just select the cookie. And you can see now this doesn't look like a proper solid. Now let's move on to other operations. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, come out of this and delete these two. And we will create copies of this particular set so that we can compare other operations. Now again I'm selecting this green box click on boolean and inside this you've got an option that is intersect so when i select the intersect option 
and click on add operand and uh, hit the cylinder we can see that we get the intersected part as a result all other extra things are deleted in this case so that is the intersect operations now we will see other operations so beside the intersect operation we also have four different operations and these are the operation that creates a lot of confusion among the beginners so for that what I'll do is I'll just create copies of this set and we will try all of the remaining operations so I have created four sets so that we can compare the remaining four operations in the boolean compound object so again I'm selecting this box go to boolean and this time we will select the union operation then click on operand and hit the cylinder we'll move on to the next one select the box boolean select merge add operand and hit the cylinder now let's move on to the third one select the box boolean attach add operand and hit the cylinder and then we'll move on to the fourth one select the box boolean insert add operand and hit the cylinder now you can see here all of them looks similar the result is almost similar and if I try to move this one this entire thing is moving same way the second one is moving the third one also moves in the same way and the fourth one is also working in the same way now to check the difference first thing is we will uh, get into the wireframe mode and see what has happened to these objects so I'll press F3 and as a result you can see in the first one where we have applied the union operation the intersected part is missing whereas in the other remaining three the entire objects are visible now let's turn back the shade mode and to see what else has happened to these objects we will convert them into editable poly so select all these and now let's turn this into a editable poly now in the first one where we have applied the union operation we'll just go to the element mode and select and you can see the entire thing is one single element now the second one again I will go to the element mode select this cylinder and here we are getting something else and you have one element which is a combination of box and cylinder along with that the intersected part is also there and all these are exploded into different elements now the third one select I'll just move this little bit away so that we can see the difference now the third one select let's go to the element mode select the cylinder and we can take it out and you will find that nothing has happened to operand A the box is as it is then the cylinder is also as it is and still they are combined now in the fourth one again we'll go to the element mode and see what has happened to this so you can see here the cylinder is a separate element along with that we have the box along with the subtract so these are the four different operations the union the merge the attach and the insert so that is all about the boolean compound object hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and have a nice day